Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner's guide of the Jax wallet. And I hope that you enjoy this video today and if you do then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. So what is the Jax wallet? Well it's a software wallet that you can install onto your device. So whether or not that be on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac and other platforms. Now it's not a wallet that I have generally used in the past but since I've been creating this tutorial I really like the look and feel of it. It's a nice simple wallet that you can use and it supports multi cryptocurrencies. So you have the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, Salt and Civic. And they also have Shapeshift included into it so that you can go through and exchange from one currency to another. And to go through and download the JAX application, what you need to do is go to JAX.io. Now I will put a link to this in the summary below so that you are going to the correct address. And then there are a host of different platforms that this is available on so you can go through, download this for the required platform. So once you've gone through that installation process, what you can then do is you can either create a new wallet or pair and restore a wallet. What we're going to do today is create a new wallet. You then have Express or Custom. So with regards to Express, you can select this option if you'd like to access your new Jax wallet quickly. Please note that you'll be able to go back and customize at a later stage. Then you have Custom. So you can select that option if you'd like to customize your wallet and you'll be able to select your tokens and currencies, set up a security pin and back up your wallet. Now for this example, I'm gonna choose Express. And then I have the different options of coins that I'd like to set up for my wallet. So in this example, I'm going to select Bitcoin. I'm going to select Ethereum. And you can see there's a whole host in here. However, the other one I'm going to select is going to be EOS. And then click on to continue. So now that I'm within my Jax wallet, I can now see that I've got the cryptocurrencies that I've just selected in the top hand section here. So if I just select Dash, so if I click onto the DSH, and then my Dash wallet will then appear. Now if I click onto Bitcoin for this example, and I can then do several things from here. So I can receive, and then I can type in the amount that I'd like to receive. So say for example, I would like to receive 100 pounds. What I can do is type in 100 pounds in here, and then it will then do the Bitcoin conversion for me. However, I'd like to type in a certain amount of Bitcoin. I can click onto the icon and type in the amount of Bitcoin that I would also like to receive. Then I just like to click on to generate. It then provides me with a receiving address. So with that receiving address, I can then copy and then it will uh, the address will then be copied to the clipboard. And I can also use the QR code. So then what I could do is use a mobile phone device and scan that QR code instead of using that receiving address. I can also exchange, so they do use Shapeshift. And what I'll do is I'll take you through that shortly. And you can also send from here. So say for example, you're sending your funds across to an exchange. You can type in the address or copy and paste it in there. And you can also use the QR code from here. You would then type in the amount. So that can be in Bitcoin to begin with. So you can say 0.1 Bitcoin and it'll then do that conversion into GBP for you. Or you can simply click onto that BTC icon and you can then type in the amount of GBP that you would like then to send across. And then you would click on to send. Now it does also provide you with your Bitcoin address from this screen as well. So you can go through and you can copy it from this screen. It will then provide you with your available funds, which you can go through and you can sync up by clicking onto the circular arrow icons, which will then sync up. So if you are sending money across to this wallet, you can then sort of update it by clicking onto that icon. So it'll provide you with the amount of available funds in BTC, and it'll also do that conversion into pounds. And on the right, we'll have any transactions that you have made using this wallet. Now I'm just going to click onto the settings in the top right hand corner here. Now if I click onto currency, I'm from the UK, so it's automatically picked up GBP, but it does also support multi-currency. So I could go through and then select US dollars, for example. And where we have that GBP conversion in here, what we could also do is view that in US dollars. Now just take us back to those three lines at the top right hand corner. And if we click on to wallets, in here is where you can add additional wallets. So you're not kind of capped to the currencies that you selected when you went through the install. You can go through and add additional wallets from here. So if, for example, you wanted to add Bitcoin Cash, you can go through and select that. So just taking you through that exchange process now, what you can do is you can use Shapeshift. So Shapeshift is a third party service offered by Shapeshift AG and it is a company based in Switzerland. It allows you to go through and convert between your digital assets supported by Jax. 
and it gives you a little bit of information about how you go through and actually exchange your currencies. Now one thing to note is the fact that the shapeshift transactions may take 10 to 20 minutes to appear in the target coins wallet screen. So what I'll do is take you through that process now. So say for example, you would like to exchange from Bitcoin. It will then provide you with all the cryptocurrencies that you can convert to. So you have the likes of Salt, Civic, EOS, etc. So if I now select EOS, and then I can then type in the amount that I would like to convert. So if I'd like to convert $100 worth of Bitcoin into EOS, what I can then do is type in the amount and then I would click on to exchange. It'll also give you an instant rate. So in here, it provides you with that conversion. Now, because Shapeshift is such an easy and convenient way to go through and exchange your currencies, it can be work out to be quite expensive. However, the instant rate that you are seeing on screen is the price that you will be paying and there aren't any additional fees. So now just taking you through to the menu and if we go to tools and if we go to backup wallet and then click on to backup wallet, it asks me whether or not I'd like to back up my wallet now. And what I need to do is say, yes, I understand how Jack's backup works. And then if I click on to continue, now, because I'm not actually going to be using this as a live wallet, I'm just using this for test purposes, I can actually share this backup phrase for you. However, when you do go through and install this for yourself, you need to ensure that you don't actually share this backup phrase with anyone, as they will then have access to your funds. So once you've written those down, you then need to click on to continue. And once you've written that down, it then states that you need to keep your written copy private in a secure and safe place. This is a key should you ever need to restore your wallet. And then click on to finish. If we now go back into the menu and go to tools, we can also display our private keys from this section. So here is where you can go through and you can view and export your private keys and public addresses. So if you ever need to export your private keys, this is the section you will do that from. You can pair devices as well. So you can pair your wallet to or from another device with your backup phrase or pairing code. So I'm just gonna click onto that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna display my pairing code. So if, for example, I wanna pair this with my mobile device, I can then use this pairing code. It then comes up with a message that states that your private key will be displayed as both a QR code and a backup phrase. Make sure that you view the QR code and backup phrase in private. Anyone with the QR code or a backup phrase can gain full access to your funds, so please do not store them publicly. So like I said previously, people will have access to your assets, they'll have access to your funds, and they'll then be able to take control of that. So what you would then do is say, I understand, and it will then provide me with my backup phrase and also give me a QR code. So with that QR code, I can use my camera of the device I wish to pair it to, and I can enter the backup phrase to then pair those two devices. And from this screen as well, I can also transfer a paper wallet. So I can send funds from a paper wallet or a private key into my Jax wallet. And because of the cryptocurrencies that I selected at the initial stage, it's then allowing me to transfer Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash and Bitcoin Cash. Now, if, for example, there is a cryptocurrency that doesn't have a supported paper wallet, it will not appear in this section. And if I just take us through to the settings, in here is where you can set up a security pin. Now, by default, with the Jax wallet, there isn't a username, a password. It is something that is a little bit of a drawback or a negative about the Jax wallet, in my personal opinion. So you will really want to set up a security pin so that it does give you that extra level of security. So you can go through and set a pin for added security when sending funds and accessing pairing or backup tools. You can also go through and have a look at the Bitcoin mining fees. Now the Bitcoin network requires a fee to be paid for each transaction. The fee rewards the miner that includes it in a block. You have the option to select or alter that mining fee. So we have different types of fees and by default that will set that to average. However, if you do have a transaction that you do need to get through a little bit quicker, then you can select fast. And if you want to know which version you're currently on in terms of JAX, if you go to the About section, it will then provide you with your version. So you will want to make sure that you have got the latest version of JAX available so that you have all the latest security updates. Now, that was a very brief overview of how you go through and use the JAX wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like. And if you did find it useful and feel that others may benefit, then please feel free to share it. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.